everyone welcome to the channel so here we are discussing the question two vessels on court forces so the problem states that you have two vessels with water the first vessel contains a gram of water and second vessel contains b gram of water both vessels are very large and can hold any amount of water you also have the empty cup that can hold up to c grams of water in one move you can scoop up to c grams of water from any vessel and pour it to another vessel Note that mass of water pour in one move does not have to be an integer. So what is the minimum number of moves required to make the mass in the vessels equal? And we cannot perform any actions other than the described moves. So here let's first see the examples. So what we are given? We are given with A amount of water in one vessel b amount of water in another vessel and c is which it can hold up in one move so if you see 3 7 and 2 in this case we need to make a and b equal so what we need to do we need 5 5 in each how we can do it we can transfer 2 from b to a so if we add 2 here and subtract 2 here it will become 5 5 and it will be equal so why i have taken 2 because our c is 2 so it can hold c amount up to c amount of water so it is done in one move only here because we have only taken 2 grams of water once and pour it from B to A so the answer is 1 in this case now taking the second example which is 17 4 and 3 so if you see that 17 we take 3 grams of water from first vessel into the second one so if we take 3 grams then what we are left with here we are left with uh, let me write it here 14 and here 7 now we take 2 more so it is 12 and 9 again now to make them equal we want in fractions so it will be 1.5 and 1.5 so both are left with 10.5 so how many steps are involved in this 1 2 and 3 so the answer is 3 in this case now let's see how to approach this in the code which means how to code it so to code this it is very simple first what you need to do is we need to make them equal so we calculate how much amount should be there in each vessel so we can just take a plus b divide by 2 now remember that don't take integer division here because fractions are also allowed to pass from one vessel to the other so we take a plus b by 2 now looking at the one of the examples let's take the first one only so 3 plus 7 which is 10 10 by 2 this becomes 5 so we want 5 in each vessel now the one which is greater which is 7 and one which is smaller that is 3 so what we do we take the smaller one and calculate that how much more is needed or you can take the larger one and calculate how much less is needed so we take 5 minus 3 which gives us 2 so we need more 2 amount if we need 2 now we divide it by c which is 2 here so this gives us the answer 1 which is our output why we divide by c because we can transfer up to c grams of water and we are left with 2 grams we can transfer up to 2 grams so hence it can be done in one move itself now 
let's see another problem another test case now uh, remember have a base case that if a is equal to b then simply output 0 or if a plus b is less than c then also we can simply output 1 so in this case the output is 1 and in this case the output is 0 now let's take the example of 97 4 and 3 so 97 plus 4 if we add 97 and 4 it gives us 101 101 divided by 2 this gives us 25 uh, 50.5 and now we have 50.5 and we divided by 3 so what we have 3 ones are 3 3 6 are 18 and so on so our answer becomes 16 in this case so uh, what we can also do another approach which we were this is one approach I shared it as an extra approach and what we have discussed till now I got the half now I subtract it so I subtract 4 from this subtracting 4 from this value what we get we get 46.5 now I want 46.5 more so I will simply divide 46.5 by 3 here and it gives me 3 ones 3 3 5 15 15 point 5 now I get 15 point 5 but remember that if we get we are getting a move in decimal which means we need to increment it by 1 so here answer will be 16 because we can't have 0.5 move so we need whole one move so here you can take the seal of the answer and you can simply return it so this is the solution to the problem hope you all understand it thanks for watching